Hello, and for today's video, I will be looking at how to measure tension uh, in the tennis racket. So what I have here is an ERT 300 Swiss made, like a very good movements for mechanical watches. And uh, so this machine here actually utilizes something called dynamic tension. And what it does is it sends vibrations through the racket string bed and through the frame itself, and then it measures uh, what that tension uh, would be using a conversion table. So we'll first just put this on. So in order to put this on, you just have to count the number of strings. This is a 16 by 19 uh, string pattern. So uh, basically I count um, up to 10 and then place the uh, machine, um, the contraption just right at that spot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And so right up here, Just goes like that and then what we want to do there's a little conversion table here that you can see and what we'll do is so coming in you can see here what you want to do is just hold the racket frame um, just at the throat press on starting to measure you could actually feel a little bit of vibration in your hand where you're holding it at the frame so that gives us a dynamic tension of 36. So what you want to do is you take your number here, your dynamic tension, and you move it to 36. And that actually sends the, um, uh, the tension measurement up here. So this is a 97 square inch racket, and you can see that it holds it at 52 pounds. Okay, so that's the tension in the string bed. And now to com compare that to this contraption here, which is called the Mini SS STT, um, the Mini uh, String Tension Tester. Um, the problem with this is that it only goes up in five um, square inch increments for the string bed. So since this is 97, I chose to go to 95 square inch rather than 100 square inch. So again, the same thing. Count 10 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We place this on. And we'll just see how close this is to the other um, uh, to the other string measurements. So what we'll do, you just have to hang it. And when you press start, it's just going to start the meter. You just got to hit the racket. And then that gives a bit of vibration. And then you can see here that it beads at a tension of 53. So, um, you know, give or take, given that we had to use a 95 square inch setting for this um, for this tool. So we could try it again here just to see if it reads the same. So press start, a bit of vibration, and then again, still reads at 53. So uh, there's a third uh, tool that I also have, it's an app uh, that you can get for Android and for iPhone, it's called Racket Tune. And I find that that's probably better for measuring tension loss. So let's say you get your racket restrung, freshly restrung, and then you use that, to, that uh, app to measure your starting tension. As you play, you measure your tension daily, weekly, whatever, and you can see how much tension drops. And that can give you a better idea of when you should restring rather than just using um, the string bed breaking. Uh, in another video, I'll actually uh, measure tension over the course of playing. Um, and uh, so stay tuned for that video coming up. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.